Hi everyone, my name is Manik Madan and I am an incoming resident physician uh, who's headed to America and in this video uh, we are going to discuss about how much money doctors make in America and this data that I'm going to present to you is as of, of 2022. This data is backed by Medscape's compensation report 2022 which they gave to about 13,000 physicians all over America both employed and self-employed over 29 specialties so you're gonna see all that data in this uh, video so this video is basically divided into three parts the first part would be like I'll take you to through like the basic physician salary and then we'll go through variations in that salary by specialty state employed versus self-employed incentive bonuses and moonlighting and in the last we'll discuss about job satisfaction plus uh, work-life balance as a doctor in America so before we jump into everything, I just want to discuss the demographics of the survey. So just know, you know, whenever I'm talking about the physician salary, mostly it's about people who are more than 28 years old. So like most physicians, like who are practicing physicians are like, you know, not in their 20s, but rather in their 30s. So keep that into consideration. Also, this is like the specialty data. All of the doctors in these specialties have been surveyed. So like this data is very, very inclusive. Now let's jump into how much did physicians earn overall. So in overall, physicians earned about $339,000 in total in the year 2022. When I talk about overall, I'm talking about a mixture of primary care physicians as well as specialists. So what is a primary care physician? A primary care physician is a patient's first point of entry into the US medical system and PCP is mainly doctors who go into internal medicine or family medicine and for them the uh, average for this year was about $260,000 but for specialists who deal with uh, certain systems of the body they made about $368,000 this year. What is a specialist? Let me kind of define it for you. So specialist is somebody who deals with a certain system of the body. It can be a neurologist, a psychiatrist or it can be like after internal medicine you can do fellowships. So it can be a gastroenterologist, a cardiologist and so many more and we'll go through them. Let's dive into the average annual physician compensation uh, by specialty. So the highest earning specialty this year was a plastic surgery and they made about $576,000 this year. Then it's orthopedics which made about $500,000. $57,000 uh, on an average cardiologist who made about like $490,000 ENT surgeons who made about $469,000 and urologist who made about $461,000 this year. So these top five specialities have been on the top five since 2016 and continue to be on the top like and I think will remain to be on the top another specialty that uh, people consider is very high earning and is actually high earning is dermatology so physicians in this specialty made about uh, made about $438,000 this year radiologists made $437,000 so it's pretty high what I also want you to know is like if you look at these specialties such as family medicine internal medicine right which are considered primary care specialties these come in like the bottom uh, six specialties in earning capacity however that being said doctors who go into internal medicine can actually further uh, specialize through fellowships into uh, gastroenterology cardiology and make more so what I want you to notice is what a lot of people have this presumption that psychiatrists actually don't make a lot of money that is not true you can see that on an average this year psychiatrists made far more money than uh, doctors in internal medicine which is very very interesting and surprising to a lot of people doctors in surgery made about four hundred uh, two thousand dollars this year based on the previous years which specialty went up which specialty da uh, went down in terms of pay annual uh, compensation so you can see that this year every single specialty every single specialty saw a compensation bump so and this is the first time it's happening in like uh, Medscape's um, compensation uh, reports like in about 11 years that all the specialties are seeing a bump in payment but the specialty that saw the like the biggest increase in payment was ENT and then like uh, gastroenterology saw a big bump and also dermatology so that is uh, interesting right where is psychiatry the specialty i am going into so psychiatry also saw like a good bump this year but yeah that's uh, internal medicine actually saw a bigger bump than psychiatry so that is interesting uh, now let's go into physician salary trends 
So since 2015, there has been a 29% overall increase in uh, physician compensation. Uh, like if you're looking from 2022 and you can actually see that in this 29%, you can see that uh, primary care physicians have actually had a higher uh, salary growth from 2015 to 2022 uh, compared to specialists. So they saw about a 33% increase. Specialists saw a 30% growth in their salary over these seven years. So uh, now let's talk about physician's average incentive bonus by specialty. What is an incentive bonus? You already know what a bonus is in a salary. So physicians in America get bonuses, but only if they meet certain incentives, of course, right? So the first way they can do that is through either productivity goals. So if they hit a certain productivity goal, they can make that incentive bonus. Second way they can do is by like some goals set by the employer or they can do it through some medical processes that are also there. So you can actually make more money through either uh, like meeting a certain productivity goal or another goal set, set by an employer. So if you meet these goals, you get an incentive bonus. So the, the, the specialty that has the biggest incentive bonus, as you can see, is orthopedics, then uh, like which is about $126,000, which you can make on an extra if you meet your incentive bonus. Then there's ophthalmology, cardiology, gastroenterology, right? In the bottom uh, of like this chart, you can see there's internal medicine, neurology and pediatrics, uh, which these specialties have the least incentive bonus. And all in all, what I want you to also see is about 57% of physicians in America received an incentive bonus this year. Now let's talk about top earning states for physicians overall. So what happens is like there is a salary variation state by state. The way this variation works basically is in states which have a lot of supply than demand, your salary goes down, right? Because what happens is, for example, in places like New York, which have a lot of supply than the demand of doctors needed because New York is a great attractive place to live in. So a lot of doctors want to move there uh, to live a good life, right? A better life. So because of that, there's a lot of competition which pushes their salary down. However, if you go into a state where the demand is higher than supply, meaning there's not a lot of doctors because probably the state isn't as attractive to doctors, uh, like in terms of lifestyle, you will see an increase in salary there because they have a lot of demand and not a lot of supply. They have to attract doctors somehow. And how are you going to attract doctors by giving them a higher salary, right? So a lot of doctors move to certain states just for that higher salary compared to like states which might be more attractive in terms of living. So the states in general, which have like are the top earning are the southern states in America, such as Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, Missouri. So these these states that you're seeing, most of them are in the south. Uh, and they like give the highest pay. So you can see uh, Kentucky and Tennessee gave about $364,000 uh, per year to their physicians on an average, right? While Florida, again, which is again a uh, top earning state for physicians, gave about $346,000. Did employed or self-employed physicians earn more? So what you need to know in the US is there's two ways you can practice. Either you can practice in a hospital right or you can open your own private practice which is also called like being self-employed so this is employed this is self-employed about like on an average 47.6 percent doctors in the u.s work in a hospital while 49 percent of doctors own a private practice that being said if you are self-employed me aka that you work in a private practice you'll be making about 20 percent more than a doctor who's employed in a hospital who makes about three hundred twenty thousand dollars so you'll be making about $385,000, which is a 20% increase. Employed uh, and self-employed doctors by age. So these are the employed doctors and these are the self-employed doctors. Like in comparison to age and that age here is above or below 45. Although there are far more doctors who are over 45 and are self-employed, doctors who are self-employed and, and are under 45 make far more like then doctors over 45 and are self-employed. I hope that makes sense for you, right? So that is very interesting. Do physicians take extra work to supplement their income? About 36% physicians you can see here have an extra side hustle to make extra money. So like some uh, like, you know, do other medical related work 
right some do moon lighting which is like you're working in a different hospital system uh, some just add more hours to their primary uh, job itself and other physicians have this like non-medical related work that they do to make extra money which physicians feel fairly compensated so this is extremely interesting so the top five specialities which like doctors in which feel like, like fairly compensated are public health and preventive medicine oncology plastic surgery psychiatry and dermatology these specialities are actually one of the highest earning specialties like you know which i've shown like public health and preventive medicine oncology plastic surgery and dermatology right so is radiology you can see that but psychiatry itself like that i was extremely surprised by this that so many psychiatrists feel like fairly compensated for their work and i'm guessing this is because of the work-life balance because psychiatry is a bit more chill than other specialties and there is telehealth and uh, like that involved so you can actually travel and you can see patients at the same time the specialties which feel the uh, least fairly compensated are internal medicine physical medicine and rehabilitation pediatrics diabetes and endocrinology and nephrology less than 50 percent of physicians here feel fairly compensated versus the top five specialties mentioned here where more than 50 percent of the physicians feel fairly compensated so interesting comparison when these doctors like all over the us were asked would you choose medicine again about 73 percent of them said yes and about 27 percent of them said no this is an increase from about 2021 where about only 69% of doctors said yes to this question but this year there's a 4% increase when doctors were asked would they choose the same specialties so in dermatology orthopedics plastic surgery gastroenterology infectious diseases ophthalmology radiology urology more than 90% of physicians here wanted to choose their specialty again uh, like if they were given the chance in the bottom five were OBGYN uh, emergency medicine nephrology family medicine and internal medicine so here less than about 80 percent of physicians said they would choose their specialty but again even that being said so more than 63 percent of the physicians in the specialty mentioned here said yes to choose like choosing their specialty again which says like miles about the american health uh, healthcare system because compared to a general doctor in other parts of the world that is actually a pretty good number when doctors were asked what is the most rewarding part of your job about 27 percent said gratitude relationships with patients in 2015 and 2019 like about 33 to 32 33 percent uh physicians said like uh the same response gratitude and relationships with patients so there is a bit of decrease here right uh, being very good at what I do uh, finding answers like diagnosis right like you know in 2015 and 2019 this was again 32 percent about 30 32 percent and this uh, in 2022 there's a decline in that answer but one uh, answer that has seen like an increase is knowing that I'm making a world a better place which about 23 percent a physician said yes to uh, only 10 percent said yes to making good money at a job that i like now in terms of work-life balance you need to understand that if you are an employed doctor you will be either working in a hospital or like in a outpatient clinic as a pcp right and in general there are two tracks to go by four days a week so you can uh, work four days a week and the weekend friday saturday sunday is off versus you can work alternate weeks in a month so like you know two weeks per month one week is your work week then the next week is the holiday then the next week uh, is your work week and then the next week is holiday so you work two weeks per month so this looks to me like pretty much like a part-time job so i think like this is one of the most attractive qualities uh, of the american uh, healthcare system to me that there is that time to uh, self uh, re rejuvenate there is that time for like you know to take care of yourself to enjoy yourself which like i'm extremely attracted to private practice like again the hours are variable but most doctors i've met work about four to five days a week not more than that saturday sunday in general is off like at least when i was doing uh, my rotations so guys if you like this video please 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 like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you would like to watch next thank you so much for watching and have a great day